Bring it. All right, all right. People want another match against the cookies. I. All right, I agree. All right, I'm going to assume that maybe Dimitri just had a bad day yesterday. I'm going to put him back on first, but if, if, he, if he fumbles the ball again, he's going right back to Ferd, and Kenny's going out. Kenny seems to be a little more reliable. Uh... Yeah, I was debating if I wanted to swap Jorge with Jacinda, but no, I think that's I think this is a pretty solid batting order. All right, rematch against the Cookies. Let's do it. Hello there, all you crazy fans. Welcome to another game in the BBL Super Entire Nation Tournament. This could be the big one. I'm Sunny Day, and together with my pal Vinny the Gooch. We'll bring every bit of the action to you. Going head to head in today's game are the Crunchy Cookies and the Junior All Stars. The series is at one game to none, and these kids have a good chance of making it to the Ultra Grand World Championship of the Universe Series if they can just produce another win today. I all thought we were right, already at the Grand Championship the of the Universe. Don't hold back, Ben. Show the All Stars how much you want them to win. Yeah, who wants the Cookies to win? <laughs> Forget the cook. I love how the judges have been totally biased towards my team every game. I know I'm home team this time, but even when I'm the away team, they still are like, let's have the All-Stars win. <laughs> Boom. The starting pitcher today is Lisa Crockett. If it curves or catches fire, Mad Dog can throw the heck out of it. Just don't ask her to throw a slow ball. Watch me now. All right, is their batting order the same? This kid is a good choice to lead it off. This is the Super Entire Nation Tournament, the Ultra Grand Championship of the Universe Series is the final series. I, I, I thought it was all part of the same part and parcel. Never mind. All right, Sonya. Don't try to get some strikeouts early to get juice boxes. Ready now, rope it. Don't try this at home, kids. Ready, ready, ready. Let's get Sonya out. Nice strikeout, Lisa. Holy cow. Also, they're resetting our stats literally every game. <laughs> We're not, they're not even getting carried over. That's, that's interesting. At least I don't think so. Either that or they, these... Actually, no, none of these people got on base. No fireball? I like fireball. It's one of the cheesier pitches. I feel like the fireball has the highest chance of them not being able to hit it, even if they're good players. Like, they've actually hit the big freeze a few times, which is supposed to be basically impossible to do. All right, nice grounder. Or, hey, this is all you... Okay, or no, no, it's not. All right, that that was a nice single. I gotta give her that one. That was a nice single. Oh no! Oh geez, Demon Kid up to bat. Don't give him an inch. Do not give him an inch. What? We have to fix that batting average. We can't let him keep that. That was before the war. Vinny, what are you talking about? What war? I don't know. I just thought it sounded cool. <laughs> Vinny's dialogue is great. Here's the pitch. How did you hit that when you were hitting it closed? All right, Kenny, this is you. Lisa? Okay, Lisa, thank goodness. You... Lisa, I'm... You're an amazing pitcher, but I am getting really sick and tired of you intercepting every single throw just so you can make it. It almost screwed us over, and it had screwed us over in the last game. You gotta just learn to sit your butt on the mound and let the other team members play. I'm not throwing a heat. That's guaranteed going to be a home run if they get the hate. All right, Jorge. Oh, Jorge, just tag him. Boom! Yeah, ran right into him. Lisa's not having a bad day. She's doing great at pitching. She just has an attitude problem. She thinks it's all about her, and that she has to make every play, and I, I don't appreciate that. All right. Well, Pete has had a bad time against the cookies. Now pitching, Francis Fleur. You can close the book on that batter. She is among the league leaders in strikeouts. She's one of two people in this league. All right, let's get down to business. Oh, oh, Lisa's having a bad day because her stamina is a half. Uh, what am I oh. supposed to do again? Here's the one. Here's the pitch. 
If I hit a bunch or if I hit a grounder, like, he's going to get out. If I hit a line drive, there's not in, not even worth it. I'm going to just try to get a home run. The line, the pitch. That's a nice hit. Okay, just drop. Oh, my gosh, he hit her. Yes, Pete got on base. Oh, this is a good day. Oh, this is a good day. All right, Kenny, I don't expect you to get on base, but I think you can help Pete advance to second. All right. Line drive with Kenny, steal with Pete. Steal with Pete, yeah. Yep, yep, they got him out. That's expected. That was a good move on their part. Pete's on second, though, and it's time for... Oh, Pablo, that's a, oh, that's a really bad batting average, too. We got to fix that. Why does that number keep popping up? I don't appreciate that. Ready now, and the pitch. Boom! Do not pitch a fastball to the right side of the strike zone. Ever. Not to Pablo Sanchez. Viva Sanchez! Oh, this is a good first inning! I just realized Pablo and Lisa are polar opposites. Lisa absolutely dominates when the enemy's at bat, but sucks when she's at bat. And Pablo absolutely dominates when he's at bat, but kind of sucks when the enemies are at bat. All right, Keisha. Yeah, this is clutch postseason, Pablo. Ah, oh, that's a ball. Pablo has... <laughs> Dimitri's been um, uh, sweating under pressure. Pablo has been fry... Pablo thrives under pressure. That's what I've noticed. Like, whenever fiends look dire, that's when Pablo brings out all the home runs. Swung early. One and one. I really appreciate it. That's a ball. That it was 100% a ball. <laughs> that was not in the strike zone. Here's the motion. The one two pitch. The wing. Well, I, they would have called that a strike, and Keisha was physically incapable of hitting it. Like, you saw her swing makes it go higher than that. All right, Dimitri. You were Butterfingers last game, but hopefully we can fix that this game. I've determined the optimum swing based on current atmospheric conditions and the relative strengths and weaknesses of the opposing team. Dimitri, we got this. We got this, bro. Let's do this for all the nerds in the world. Nice, you hit it backwards. I, you gotta admire all of these crazy hits that they're getting. He's not expecting the slow-mo. This game really wants to prove there are some things that need to be ironed out. Well, they were able to make future games. That's the problem. Dimitri has three possible outcomes. Uh, foul ball, hits it to first base, and hits a home run. Uh, or pop fly. I forgot about the pop fly. Oh, well, that was the girl who got a concussion earlier. No, no, she was ready for it this time. That's fine. Two points in the first inning. I will totally take that to the bank. Hey, Tanya. She kicked and delivered. The swing, the right one. Now's a good time to use a breaking ball. You see a fireball on Tanya Uchida. Backyard football for the GameCube is better than Madden. I haven't played Madden, but I believe you. <laughs> okay, I believe you. I'll be honest, the, the, the best basketball games I have ever played have been Backyard Basketball and then NBA Street V2 for the GameCube. That game had killer music. Alright, nice grounder. Dimitri catches everything Lisa throws him. But, you know, I'm, I'm actually... Actually, now that I think about it, 
I think the one common thread between every single time Dimitri has dropped the ball has been the pitch has been fast towards him. If it's a slow pitch, he's guaranteed to catch it, but if it's a fast pitch, he often fumbles it. So I'm almost wondering if, if Kenny would be a better choice, especially if Tony is the catcher. Because Tony throws it hard. Ah, Dimitri's done just fine this game thus far, so I'll keep him there, but... That's something I've noticed. Okay, Vinny. We're gonna be super cheap with the pitches this game. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, this is a perfect, this is a perfect experiment. Yeah, yeah, see? Okay, yeah, that's it. That is it. If the ball is too fast, Dimitri will drop it. Alright, well, um... Time out! Yep, we're swapping him with Kenny. Because Kenny seems to be able to catch fast pitches. Only basketball game he's played is Mario Hoops free on free. My friend had that. Backyard basketball is really fun, but it's also very broken if you pick Dimitri, because Dimitri can throw the ball from like literally anywhere on the court and it will go. Well. And that's the ball game. Oh boy! Everyone's favorites up at bat next, Tony Del Vecchio. Tony Del Vecchio. Well, we have we haven't seen a Tony home run in a few games. Looped up. Nice pop fly. That's out. That's okay, Tony. It was a good effort. And he's out. <laughs> Mid-second, that's the ball game. I mean, we're two points up. You've seen how good my fielding is. Jorge, just once before this season is over, I would love to see you hit a home run and hear your epic music. That's too low. Vinny, come on. I want encouragement. Also, holy cow, Jorge's legs are skinny. I want to hear Jorge's prim and proper music blasting all through the stadium. and the offering. Foul ball. They're gonna catch that foul ball. What the heck? Did you guys just see that? Henri just literally ran off. It was like he's like, oh, it was like he saw the ice cream truck or something. He's like, oh dang, I can totally run there, buy an ice cream, and run back before the ball drops. From the wind up, the pitch. Ball one, and the count is one and two. Oh, I, I know his theme is on YouTube. I just I just want to hear it broadcasted through the ball stadium for everyone to hear. Please walk, Jorge. Please walk him. Target goes up, a 2 2 pitch. Swung on, and it goes foul. I don't know how to hit it in field. From the wind up, the pitch. So that was full ball count. Three and two. So from the wind up, and the pitch. Swung on. So what I'm hearing from you, Mello, is from don't get ball. too cocky, Star Ooh, Fox. What the hell? The pitcher ran all the way to first base. I am speed. <laughs> Top-notch impersonations. <laughs> I don't think... I, I can't replicate Jorge's voice very well, but I can capture the essence of it very well. Oh, darn it. That was too early. I think they are picking on me because of my glasses. I'm not even going to try to do Jocinda's voice. Again, that was a heat right down the middle, and she swung at it with all her might with the power, and it didn't even make it past the pitcher's mound. Jocinda, you are not a four at batting. You are maybe a three. Maybe. She's also not a, she's also not a two at running. The All-Stars are leaving them in the dust. Up by two. Oh, you're talking more of Dimitri? Petra Chekhov. <laughs> Dimitri's voice is pretty easy to do. From the wind up, fire. Swung on, hammered down the middle. He's all over. Checked it to first. Nice job, Kenny! Yeah, Kenny's doing great as first baseman already. Dimitri's like, that used to be me. <laughs> I 
can't believe I, I lost my first base privileges. One on the right one. Fancy pitch would really shake things up. It would, Vinny, but I'm not going to throw one. I am te I'm too terrified of them getting the aluminum power back. It's best to not even give them a chance. All right, Jorge. This is you. Or Jocinda. Nope, it's Jocinda. <laughs> um, I can throw as hard as I can run. Pete, Pete is easily... I would put Pete in the top two or three players in the entire game. Pablo is number one, obviously, but Pete is uh, definitely either number two or number three. Nice, nicely done, Dimitri. Nicely done. Pete basically is Forrest Gump, actually. He, he's less intelligent than Forrest Gump is, though. <laughs> I find it rather disappointing I've been relinquished from my first base duties in which I accurately halt the momentum of the spherical casing of Cowhide. <laughs> A bouncing ball. What, that is well put, Bella. Oh, so help me, if she runs to first, catches the ball, and gets... Okay. That was out of play. Was that a triple? Oh my gosh, Lisa Crockett hit a triple. Fastest runner out there, which is great as long as he's headed the right way. I'm gonna hit a touchdown. Wow, Lisa. Here's the motion and the pitch. Hit hard. Yeah, that's going to break your arm. All right, well, I kind of wish Pablo was up next, but I'll take a Kenny Kawaguchi. Pete did not hit a home run, but he did break her arm, which means I think she's going to be worse at pitching now. I'm going to try my best to avoid a triple play. They're not going to get a triple play, because worst case scenario, Lisa's not going to move from third, and she, so they won't get one. Here's the windup. Here's the pitch. A swing. That's a foul. Runners at the corners. No Honestly? Out. From the stretch, and delivered. Swing. Ground ball up Oh my gosh. Baseline. Bases are loaded for Pablo Sanchez. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a Grand Slam opportunity with Pablo Sanchez. Pablo Sanchez stepped in. I would be terrified if I were Francis Bluer. Deep breath. Into the wind of the pitch. That was a ball. The base they honestly might walk him. No out. That would not... Well, that would guarantee me a free point if they walk him, but it wouldn't be a bad one. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Darn it. A bouncing ball. That's not good. Oh my gosh, but she's gassed. She's gassed. And they give up another run. Okay, now it's Grand Slam opportunity for Keisha Phillips. <laughs> I, this is less exciting because she's not as good of a batter as Pablo, but still. Yeah, Francis is gassed. She can barely move. I'm not. No, I know. Yeah, I should have sworn that. If it's low down, though, Keisha really can't get a good hit off of it. I'm waiting for a good pitch. That was a strike. Are you kidding me? Only the tiniest bit of the shadow was in the strike zone. From the wind-up, pitch on the way. Swing. Not even close to that one. You're on the pick -up Still, that was only the first out. I cannot... I swear the shadow is bugged. Like, it is always in the tiniest part of the shadow that would be least advantageous. I've determined the optimum swing based on current atmospheric conditions. All right, Dimitri, I've seen you pull off home runs before. Yeah, the ump might be it in the pocket for the cookies. Is that a home? Oh my gosh. Is that a grand slam? That is a Dimitri Petrovich grand slam! Just don't make hitters like that anymore. And the runner scores. The gooch likes that. Yeah, give me some more of that. And they give up another run. 
Everybody likes candy. That's why Halloween is such a popular holiday. And the runner scores. Good hustle. These kids are on their way. I guess you could say that was a smart play. Okay, Slick. Let's see what you got. Oh, man. It would have been... <laughs> I'm super happy that happened. It would have been even more epic if Tony was the one who got that. But I will take Dimitri Petrovich's Grand Slam. That was stupid. Why did I swing them? That's okay. I'm, I'm on cloud nine. <laughs> Smart play indeed. Ah, Tony, never change. Actually, you know, Tony, if you wanted to change a little bit, I wouldn't be sad. Darn it. Oh, wait, no, that's literally best case scenario. It was a foul. He gets another shot. <laughs> I don't know why, but I expected, like, if they just if they just don't catch it, then he'll get a single. No, there's no way that was going to happen. That's, that's fine, Tony. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you for typing the binary for Grand Slam, Prince Dusk. <laughs> that's a very Dimitri thing to do. Jorge, you could literally strike out right now. I don't even care. This was Ready an amazing now, inning. Right is that a homer? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy we got to hear that music blast from the stadium. This is the best game. <laughs> oh, thank goodness they had the full orchestra going on. <laughs> thank goodness they had the full uh, London Philharmonic Orchestra on standby just in case uh, Jorge hit home run. There's no way. Is that a never? No, okay, no, that's a pop fly. Way to go, Jacinda. They dropped it. They're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> the cookies are just looking afar in despair. <laughs> what has been this inning? What has been this inning? We've gone through every member in my batter lineup. Lisa, okay, this inning started with Lisa hitting a triple. Lisa, if you can hit another triple, like, what the heck? No, nah, hey, she won't. She, this is going to be an out. <laughs> game over, boys. Now can I say that's game? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this has been such a colossally epic inning. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice they brought in Bobby as the new pitcher. Yeah, because Francis was not having a good time of it. I don't even know how long he's been there. He could have been there for the entire inning, and I, I didn't even notice. I batted around. Yeah, I don't care. Lisa was pretty much guaranteed to be out anyways. Oh boy, but they have Henri, Raphael, Hendricks, and Tanya. Alright, Deshen, I'm gonna hit you in Deshen. Okay, he's hitting closed. I mean, I was gonna throw it like this anyways. That's a terrific pitch, but it sure is hard on the arm. Yeah, you guys were very smart for wanting game two tonight, for sure. I don't think this would have happened if I had waited till Wednesday. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> that was risky, but I'm eight points up, so I went with it. I really wanted to strike Henri and his smarmy little face out. Oh, it's Hendrix. What are we worried about? What's Hendrix going to do? Break out his guitar and sing us a song? That would actually be pretty cool. I, I, I make this promise right now. I make this promise right now. If Raphael Hendrix hits a home run, when I put the VOD up on YouTube, I will play an actual Hendrix song as his home run music. Boom! Nice job, Pete! 
He tried to bunt with two strikes. I don't know why uh, Henri did that. <laughs> Let's aim for a hundred to zero. I would be streaming for hours if that was the case, but that would be amazing. Tanya, are you fast? Yes, you are. Are you fast enough for this, though? No, you are not. All right, the cookies had a very nice, strong first game, but oh man, yeah, they're they're getting they're crumbling. The cookies are crumbling. I must say though, I I I do hope the cheeses beat the squids, just because the cheeses are so, I'm gonna hit a much better name. All right, uh, I'm gonna actually hit line drive with Pete. Hit hard. Beautiful! Go to second, go to second, go to second, go to second. We hit a double and we get a second, a special bat! You won 98 to 0 one time? Oh my gosh, aluminum power bat would be amazing. I will hit it with Kenny. Crazy bunt! I'll save that, I'll save that. I like crazy bunts, they're really good. I could use it now and get him like a double and get Pete home, but nah. The wind up and the offering, the swing, a bouncing ball. Gotta watch your kneecaps on those games. Wait, no, no, no. Why, why am I doing that? Why am I doing that? It's not looking good for him. I, for some reason, I'm like, oh, if Pete go to third, bait him and then come back. But they were already Pablo getting him out. I don't know why I did that. That's okay. Good try, Kenny. Pablo crazy bunt? No, no. We're going for a home run for Pablo. For Pablo, I'm gonna always try for the home run. Maybe Keisha crazy bunt. <laughs> They're so scared of him. And you should be. You should be. I don't know. I was pretty close, Vinny. He comes center. The one-one pitch. The wing. Another strike. The and bat the seemed to face for the ball there. Okay, that's and up. that's okay. Yeah, you drop that. You drop that. Okay, yeah. Keisha, I think it's Keisha Phillips. Uh, I think it's Keisha Phillips crazy button time. Keisha's had two strikeouts? Yeah, it's crazy bunt time with the quiche, the flash. The wind up, the delivery. I'm gonna wait till it's a the very right obvious a strike. Runners at the corners, one out. Three fast runners on the base pads. It's definitely the time the for crazy bunt. And the delivery. I'm not swinging. If they call that a Throw good, I'm like, if they call that a strike, I'm gonna be ticked because that is definitely not a strike. He set the pitch. I hate how they're throwing it towards the edge of the strike zone. Give me one down the middle. Into the wind -up and the throw. Just like that. Boom! I love how they reuse the, I love how they reuse the sound effects from the uh, Freddy Fish and Woofers Base Madness bonus run. I like candy. Everybody likes candy. That's why Halloween is Beautiful triple Keisha. We got two people home and oh man, we are in the double. Di I can't remember the last game that we had double digit points. Oh wait, yes I can. It was the time we absolutely clobbered the socks. Oh boy. I have another. <laughs> I'm not using it on Dimitri. Dimitri's not that fast. I can't believe I have another crazy bunt to use. All right, well. That little blooper sent him running. Why did you throw it to Ferd? <laughs> oh man. This is giving me a flashback to the Sox team though. The cookies are doing way worse this game. As funny as it would be to use a crazy button with Tony, I'm not going to. Let's see what you got. Because Tony could potentially get a free man home run. From the wind up, the delivery. Ball one. Runners at the corners. One out. <laughs> <laughs> all of the cookies are crumbling puns. All of them, yes. The target goes up. The pitch. Swinging. 
Oh, get that out of the park! Get that out of the park! Master Tony has returned with his Jedi powers. <laughs> Don't make Guys, I think this is the game we're aiming for 20 points. <laughs> all, the, all the cookies are just like, what have we done? <laughs> oh, Tony, beautiful. The cookies want to get on the bus out. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby be sobbing. Yep. <laughs> oh, this is glorious. Jorge. No, I'm not even going to attempt it. Jorge, you can get a strikeout right here, and I, I'm totally fine with that. You, you've, you've proven your worth. You're still not getting on my team next season, though. It's going to left field, and it's foul. I've been waiting. Because here's the thing. I use I pick Jorge frequently frequently when I play this game casually, and he's a pretty good batter when I play casually. He's just been really lacking this season, particularly. Is that a single? Depends on how good his arm is. That's a single. Nice, nice job, Jorge. We could see another Jacinda home run. She's got one in this season. And it was it was a home run that I think was questionably a home run. It looked like it was foul, but Here's the pitch. that's a solid hit. To third. Boom! Oh, okay, there. Yeah, their fielding is not exactly on point. Hmm. Guys, should I use crazy bunt for Lisa? Because if I do that, I could set it up for a Pete Wheeler grand slam. Give me something I can hit. Hmm. Nah, I'm, I'm keeping the... Yes. I'll do it. I'll do it. From the wind up and delivered. Or maybe the walker. Why the heck not? <laughs> Why the heck not? Use it now. Get runs. Don't worry about the grand slam. From the stretch and the delivery. A swing. I mean, we're all pretty slow, but... Oh, but the, okay, well, that was... He doesn't have a very good arm. So, Jorge can get home just so he can get to third base. This has been a real good inning. Leave the space between we... Oh. Whoops. I wasn't confident Lisa would be able to get to second. I'm going to hit a touchdown. Let's try to hit a touchdown. I want to see Pete get another home run. Oh, that's man. Yeah, Bobby, Bobby's scared. <laughs> Bobby's scared. Look at that. Look at that. That's the face of fear. He's like, <laughs> oh, I, really, I really hope he doesn't get a home run or, or I'm not going to get. Oh, they're bringing out the big guns now. He's been known for his ability to hula hoop like a champ. His record is 43 minutes. Oh, they're bringing out Henri. They're getting desperate. Darn it. <laughs> that smile. <laughs> Henri has the exact same worried smile that Bobby had. Actually, it looks a little more smug. He winds the delivery. Another strike. Runners at the Ref! One out. Sorry, not ref. Ump! That was not a strike. Into the wind pitch on the way. A swing. A bouncing ball. Not a right between him. Right between him. Get on base. That's fine. Lisa got out, but Pete got on. We get another special bat. <laughs> Please be able to Please be a woman power bat. Please be a woman power bat. Please be a woman in power bat. Please be a woman power bat. I'll take Chris, I'll take a screaming line drive. I'll take a screaming line drive. Into the wind of the delivery. The <laughs> what? And he's out. All you can do is try your hardest. First off, that poor girl. Second off, I got robbed. <laughs> and this inning is over. Runners is that girl still alive? The All Stars winning up by 14. The All Stars are shining. <laughs> Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Kenny Kawaguchi, kid in a wheelchair, wheels up to bat, smashes the ball with all his might. It literally makes the ball scream. Hits, it goes, it's like a 60 mile an hour hit. Hits a girl straight in the face so hard, it bounces onto the roof of a barn. And she just walks it off like it's nothing. <laughs> that girl is boss. Right tonight, speaking of spitballs, Gary Allen stepped up to bat. I can't, you know, I can't even be mad about getting robbed there because that was, I feel just too bad for the girl. Good <laughs> chow. Oh my gosh, Keisha, this is, this is for you, girl. And she grabbed it straight to first. That was a beautiful single, bro. Whoops. Looks like she just dropped the ball. Tell me that didn't just like it's okay, we can make, we can afford to make some fielding errors. We're only 14 points up. <laughs> there has been a, there have been a lot of people getting hit in the face this game. Uh, yeah, we'll juice up, we'll juice up Lisa. Darn it, I was really hoping, though, that Kenny would get on first with that, because then Pablo could get a grand slam. I really wanted a, the aluminum power back, because I want to see Kenny get a home run as well, honestly. Dimitri, just stay, stay there. Uh, I, I should have thrown it to first first. I probably, if I had thrown it to first first, I probably could have gotten both of them out. Bobby Bulgari steps up to bat. Ready now. Bobby, I hope you I hope you go back to being the pitcher in the next inning. You really helped me score. I just want to point out the last two innings I've scored six points in each inning. If I get to six points in the, this coming inning as well, I will reach 20 points, which will be the most points I've ever scored in backyard baseball. My record is 18. For her. Great shot Wait, I don't know why I thought we had two outs already. Should have thrown it to second. I thought we had two outs. All right, Petra's up to bat. If they're heading open, I'm throwing it to this side. Oh, but at what cost it would be three sixes in a row. That's true. Maybe we'll get seven points instead. Let's try to aim for seven points. Don't drop this. Boom. Kenny is not phased by fast pitches. Take a lesson, Dimitri. All right, all right. We're 14. Up by 14. The up by 14. High and we've got our all-star batters up. I was hoping to have a full field for you to get home, Pablo. I apologize for that, but that's okay. We still have another screaming line drive, though. That's pretty awesome. Takes the stretch. Here's the pitch. All right. That looks like it's going to be a nice single. What the frick? No, don't, don't go back, go back, go back. I thought that was going to be out of play. What the, what the fudge? Check out the instant replay. Did that guy drink like eight cans of Monster before playing? What the, what is with his speed? He's like Sonic the freaking Hedgehog. Into the wind up and the offering, the swing. Get that out. Get that out of the stadium! We're gonna get 20 points in this game. <laughs> Do the cookies need to be crushed any harder? They're already so crumbled apart. They don't need to, but I want to crumble them. I want, I'm just trying to get to 20 points, man. And honestly, if I reach even 19, I'll consider that a win. That'll still be the most uh, points I've ever gotten back in baseball. We are gathered here today to mourn the loss of the cookies. 
works. I've determined the optimum I'm saving that screaming line drive for like and the relative strength I don't know, maybe and Jorge. Of the opposing team. It depends on how I depends on how far I get. Into the wind up and the offering the swing direct one. No, that was that was gonna be a strike anyway, so I might as well have swung at that. Target goes up, throws it. A swing and throw one. That's right to their center. Apparently it hit the ground for one nanosecond beforehand, though. I think that should have been an out, but I'll take it. Oh, boy, Tony. Oh, boy, Tony. All right, Tony, you really delivered last inning. From the windup and the throw. Dimitri defies gravity when batting. Dimitri defies a lot of things when he's batting. All right, Slick. Let's let's see what we've got here. That's a nice hit. Oh, that was a beautiful hit, Tony. Oh. I don't trust Tony to get the second, but I trust Dimitri to get the third. Okay, we're we're doing screaming line drive for four hand. Watch that outfield range as I step up to the plate. We're doing screaming line drive with Jorge. He winds, throws it. Yeah, swing at that, but of course it's going to be a strike. It's, it's always the tiniest part of the shadow that ends up being what it. Uh, that's fine. From the stretch, heads to the plate. A swing. Uh oh, I missed. I still have it though. Into the motion, he throws it. Not swinging at that. I'm not swinging at that either. I hate it when they pitch to the outside edges. He's ready now, and the delivery. That ball three. Full count. Please, please walk, Jorge. Oh, please walk, Jorge. Then I'll screaming line drive with Jacinda. No! I just went too early. Oh. Okay. Well, there's no way we're gonna have the screaming line drive. If we if we if we end up having four screaming line drives, that'll just be unfair. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll try power with just I'll try power with Josie. I could go line drive. It's fine. It's fine. I. The fact that we had. Three of those instead of just one is pretty astonishing. I actually do not want them to walk just in it because then it'll be all up to Lisa. From the wind up, the delivery. Long on. Pop fly. That's a pop fly. Tony, Tony, no, stay. Tony, stay. And that's an L. Tag first. Um. They got him. Okay. I did not tell Dimitri to go to home, but apparently it was a good decision. We're at 17 points. Unfortunately, we won't reach 18. Lisa would have to perform a miraculous bat. Yeah, I did not tell him to go home. He did that on his own, and it was a good decision. It could have backfired really badly, though. And the throw. A swing. And a foul ball. Runner on first. Two out. That's okay. I cannot complain of 17 points. That's the most points we've had this season. I would love it if they would walk Lisa. That won't happen. Or maybe it will. Why is Henri throwing all of these zigzags blatantly outside the strike zone? That's just tiring him out. Oh, wait. What am I? Silly me. Henri can't get tired out. And delivered. Swung on. Sliced it. As long as you keep making contact with the ball, Lisa, I'm okay. He set and the throw. Swing. Back towards the outfield. Boy, found it. She broke the bat on that one. Yeah, he, please, darn it. Nah, he's not gonna drop it. That's okay. That was a good hit, Lisa. Good effort. All right. Well, we don't reach 20 points. That's fine. Up by 17. The All Stars are shining bright tonight. Sonia Hagen steps up. That's back. okay. This is either the most or the second most points I've ever scored. 
I want to, because there was one time I had a game, I think, I want to say I had 18 points in one. Uh, I have a saved game on my parents' old computer where it's the second inning and I have either 16 or 18 points. The second From inning. The line up. Here's the pitch. Swung on. A bouncing ball. And the cookies are not even trying. We're just like, we can't, we can't win. I was about to think, like, if I really, really wanted to try for 20, what I would do is purposefully let them score 17 points this inning so I get another chance at bat. I'm not doing that, though. That would be really, really stupid. <laughs> Alright. This has been a glorious game. Holy cow. A bunch. <laughs> oh man. Into the motion. This has been my delivered. favorite game we've played all season. On. A bouncing ball. Straight down the middle. Oh. Just at the first. Okay, I believe I have found my new first baseman in the form of Kenny Kawaguchi. He seems to be an, a bit better fit for that compared to Dimitri. Hey. From the stretch, Rosen. It took me the whole season, but I finally figured out the optimum position for everyone. Why is Henri always the last character at bat? He was the last character at bat last game, and he's the last character at bat this game. Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah, all of those zigzags have tired him out, so now he's just above average speed as opposed to sonic speed. Only 17 points! <laughs> no, no, this was a fantastic game. We're, can you imagine the we're we're getting 17 pizzas tonight, and not 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 these like crappy little Caesars hot and ready's. No 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 no. We're talking Marco's old world pepperoni parmesan cheese crust pizzas. This is unbelievable. Today's victory will carry them on to the ultra grand world championship of the universe series. Thanks for coming out, folks. This has been Sunny Day and Vinny the Gooch live at the Big City Stadium. Oh man, that that was that was a game. That was a truly incredible game. <laughs> Amazed that I was able to pull this off against such a stacked roster. Don't forget to show the roster of the next team before you end the stream. But all of that time, and he only finished one corn dog. Yeah, he made he savored it. He made that last. We win. Coach Artie leads the All Stars to victory. We come through a lot of adversity this season, but we stuck together as a team, said Dmitry Petrovich, the All-Stars co-captain. I thought Keisha Phillips was the co-captain. The fans are the real winners here, said Pete Wheeler, choking back the tears. Oh, that's right, we win the plaque, and then we get the trophy if we actually win the, the rest of it. Okay. So schedule, we're playing the squids. Oh, we won both games against the cookies, they won both games against the cheeses. Darn it, I wanted to see the cheeses. Look at that mascot. How could you not like that mascot? <laughs> oh, man. Pete can speak English. He can speak English. He's just not the brightest bulb. All right. Statistics. The squids. We have Jay, Chico, Xena, Julie, Debbie, Jane, Xenon, Leia, and Fred. Watch out for Fred. Mello, are these characters, uh... Are these characters stacked? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on, Mello? This team is nuts. Oh, no. This team is dangerous. More dangerous or less dangerous than the Cookies? Because the Cookies were a dangerous team in the first game. Not so much in the second. I mean, hey, after the last game, I am i am just riding on cloud nine. I'm like, man, top of the world. We can do anything. We're just going to keep winning. <laughs> Jay Green and Julie Dunkel are number one and number two of all generics ever made. The cookies are pushovers compared to the squids. And there's a ton of superb players here. Well, they, they are the grand, they are the grand champion uh, finalists, along with... Artie's All-Stars. What's after we win the championship? Well, that's a that's the question. Because I'm not going to do this like a one-and-done series. 
So, yeah, so the championship is the last game, and then this season will be over. I will do more seasons in the future. I'm not sure if I'm going to start another season, like, immediately after this one. It also could be, like, I could try scrounging down a copy of Backer Baseball 2001, because that seems like it's just a better version of the game. Or I could try playing, like, Backyard Hockey or Backyard Basketball or something, and do a season of that instead. Or I could literally do, like, a totally different game, like, I've wanted to play through Donkey Kong Country Hero Mode. <laughs> I don't know. I'm keeping my options open. Season 2, Josina and Jorge have to go. Oh, yeah. They're the two who I'm planning on throwing away first. Honestly, yeah. Like, Josina and Jorge, they're going to go, like, pretty much for, pretty much for sure. Keisha is also probably going to go. Maybe Kenny. I would like to keep Pablo, Pete. Or Pablo, Pablo and Tony are guaranteed going to return. They're, like, my two best. I, Tony's not my best, but he's so iconic now. I have to keep him. I'd love to keep Pete, and I'd love to keep Lisa, potentially. Although, I could have fun with a different pitcher. I... Oh! Okay, Dave, David says other sports game would be cool, and DK... <laughs> one thing I could do... I, I'm not sure if I would stream this, but I could... I have debated doing, like, a one-off Let's Play with my siblings, where we play Mario Baseball on the Wii. That's a fun game. Oh, Roller Coaster Tycoon is amazing. I would totally play that if I could get it to run on my laptop. I have it for Steam, but it keeps crashing. Last time I tried it. But that's a good idea, Prince Dusk. Roller Coaster Tycoon. I would totally stream that. If I can get it to work. Alright, well. <laughs> that was that was fantastic. That was truly fantastic. A game to to that will be remembered. For sure. Wow, I don't I don't even know how, how we go on with that. <laughs> That was a fun stream. I Honestly, I kind of like streaming multiple games in one uh, session, to be perfectly honest. That actually, I like I like that format now. So maybe if I do another season, I would start doing two games per stream instead of just one. <laughs> thank you for the well played, David. Yeah, thank you all. Thank you all so much for joining in. This was a blast. Having you guys active in chat is always amazing. You guys are... You guys are an amazing chat, I just want to say. I have the best chat. See y'all. Hope you have a great rest of your night. And Wednesday, we take on the Squids. I'm not sure if we'll play through every game that stream, but there's a good chance we will, so stop by for that. <laughs> Either that or I'll eat my words big time, and it'll be super entertaining. That's also very possible. Either way, it's going to be entertaining. Again, so, have a great rest of your night, and God bless. Hope to see you next time. <laughs>